the fire and very important point we heard from uh, Fire Chief Dennis Stone about 15-20 uh, minutes ago. Do not fly a drone because if you go up to try and get video of this with a drone, they have to call off their air support. Yeah. And there's going to be some locations of this fire that you need air support to get in there. Yeah, one of those things you don't think about. Also, no. just kind of stay away from that area. All together. Uh, there's a lot of people going in and out of that area. Well, let's take a look at uh, Doppler radar. The weather is certainly a factor in this fire. I don't think it necessarily was the cause, but it was, certainly was a factor in the firefighting efforts. We had some thunderstorms that moved through the area. Looks like those showers winding down on our wide view, still some in our east central mountains, but let's zoom on in here and see who's seeing the showers now up around Crouch and Placerville. But we had some thunderstorms that moved through the Boise area last night. And uh, the lightning strikes, uh, we'll show you the uh, lightning strike chart. Uh, no strikes real close to the fire, but uh, the thunderstorm winds definitely were a factor in this fire. We had peak wind gusts of 47 miles per hour recorded out of the Boise Airport about 11.50 or so. And then another batch of some winds moved through in the early morning hours about 2.30. We had uh, sustained winds of 26 miles per hour at that time. Also, humidity was quite low at the start of the fire, about 18%. It has increased into the 45% uh, range this morning. And it will be decreasing throughout the day with the heat increasing, so hopefully they can get a handle on that fire this morning. There's the uh, fire area. Pretty quiet on Doppler radar. Might be spitting just a few drops of uh, rain, some of that being picked up on radar. And we were talking about the lightning. Here's why I don't think it was possibly caused by lightning. We don't have an official cause yet, but uh, you can see the lightning strikes not even close to uh, southeast or east Boise, but the closest strike in west Boise near Meridian, also uh, north of Boise, and also some lightning strikes uh, up around Idaho City, and that's about it. This is interesting. Here's future radar computer model. Looks like uh, some thunderstorms developing again this afternoon, mostly action east of Boise, but it's possible one could develop uh, pretty close to Boise. And here's also an interesting time lapse. Here we'll pause it. You can see the uh, Table Rock fire. This is the view from Schaefer Butte at the Bogus Basin. That's at 1257. So you know that fire was going pretty good about uh, just before one o'clock this morning. And now we'll advance it through. You can see the smoke across the city. Those are the city lights in Boise. That's at uh, two o'clock this morning. Fire still going pretty good right up until about 334. You can still see the fire visible in the uh, corner of your screen there. And here is the latest view. And uh, you can see a layer of smoke across the valley obscuring the city lights. Here's uh, the live view outside. You can see that uh, layer of smoke across the city this morning. Right now we have 71 degrees. Winds fairly light at uh, 6 miles per hour. And that humidity I was talking about, it's now 47%. So that's good. The more humidity, the better. The less humidity, not good. And uh, we'll see it drop again probably in the teens later on this afternoon. Here's our satellite radar view. We have a high pressure ridge over the Four Corners area. We're getting this wraparound moisture that's injecting just enough moisture that with the heating of the day, some showers and some thunderstorms developing over our area. Here's our future cast, what we're expecting. Again, later on today, most of the shower activity to the east of Boise and again on Friday afternoon, but uh, not as widespread. Saturday, we we'll, could see a little bit more shower and thunderstorm activity over our nearby mountain locations. Also, the winds will be picking up slightly according to our computer model this afternoon. Mostly cloudy, isolated showers and thunderstorms for the Magic Valley. Mostly sunny, scattered showers and thunderstorms for the Sun Valley area. Partly cloudy, isolated showers and thunderstorms for the McCall area and sunny and hot down here in the valley. And daytime highs in the mid to upper 90s. Some locations could hit triple digits. And then 96 on Friday, 93 on Saturday. And then dropping down to the upper 80s on the 4th of July. Temperatures rebound slightly on Tuesday, right at the normal mark by Wednesday. Brian.